Yeah. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Emerson and my pronouns are they, them. And you know it's gonna be a vlog when I start the video off in my car. My car, my car likes to make me suffer. <laughs> my car has been having a lot of like issues, unrelated issues. Today is Saturday the 21st or something of January already. I've just been, I've been okay the past week-ish. Considering before that I haven't been that good. Anxiety. I just want a break from it. You ever just want a break from your own brain? Yep. So, I don't know. I've been really anxious lately. What's new? I had to quit the job that was that I thought was going to be a really good job. And work at my other job more now. Which is good, at least. Being alive is so hard. Being alive is so hard. It'd be tough. It'd be tough because all I want to do is be myself, live my life, do whatever, and I'm just so always constantly worried about looking dumb, what people will think, and now realizing that I'm most likely autistic, it just makes so much sense because I really do feel like I've been masking most of my existence. Like, who am I? Anyway, the struggle has been real. That's all I'm trying to say. The struggle has been real. So we're out of the house today. Just eight a meal from my favorite gas station and I found this beanie in here full-time feminist mostly just to stay warm because it's cold it's like the 30s today I try not to go outside when it's like that cold like I don't not I try not to go I don't want to hang outside when it's cold but we got my big fuzzy sweater on we got this hat and we're just gonna do it because life is life <laughs> life is life Recently, I decided to get into bird watching because I love to watch animals. Literally, I could watch my cat just do her thing all day. I could watch birds just like exist and do bird things all day. So it's time that I learn about birds and be able to be like, oh, that's that kind of bird. As a kid, I was obsessed with dogs. I mean, I still am, but as a kid, I literally taught myself all the dog breeds with this giant dog encyclopedia and I feel like so good that now I'm doing the same thing but like with birds one day I'm gonna be like looking at birds and I'll be like oh did you know that bird is called that and that's that bird just like I can with dogs <gasps> speaking of birds is that a bird I'm at this fishing spot it's gorgeous um there's another car right over there so um it's gorgeous it looks like mud anyway there's a bird let me get my binoculars there's no way you can see the detail but that that just went under it just went under he goes under for like a long time i think just based on how it looks so far it looks like it's a canvas back um because it's white with like a dark head. It did look like the snout was almost orange. I don't know why I called the beak the snout. Oh my god. <laughs> Who else could it be? That one's like, it says it's a diving duck. And that's definitely what he did. The excitement. Stop. Where'd it go? Where is it? Where is that page? Here it is. I gotta keep looking. I gotta keep looking at the duck. Maybe it's this, this one? I don't know. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to look at it more. So yeah, we're gonna do some bird watching and some nature exploring and some smoking weed. And then we're gonna do crafts later, just art. We're just gonna indulge in everything that I enjoy because it's so easy for me to get lost in all the... <sighs> It is so insanely cool to see that duck, but I'm pretty sure it's not in my book. It has this bright orange beak and uh, it looks green from afar, but it doesn't look like a mallard. I don't know. And the, sh the northern shoveler has more color. It's almost all white with like the 
dark head and a bright orange beak. The bright orange beak is throwing me off. None of these really have one. Mystery bird. And it's just one single bird. It's the one single... I'm pretty sure it's a duck. It's a diving duck. You can see because it would dive. <laughs> Fortunately, I can't get a video of it, but I don't know where it is now. It's going down the, the creek. Oh, it's down there. So I'm actually going to go to a different part of this, the same creek. Birds. <laughs> We're here at the, uh, the same creek, but like the more touristy area. I see birds. I see birds. Noisy. It's because there's a bridge. <laughs> there's not many people out because it's fucking freezing. <laughs> but it's fine. Let's look at the free library. Stucks, I'm walking with you. We're walking together now. Hee <laughs> So confirmed, the, that one duck I saw, there's more over here. It's different. I don't know what kind it is, but it's definitely not a mallard. I consulted that, my, my book. I did not see anything that was the same, so. Feels like I'm in New York City or something. <laughs> Not really. Construction. It's me. I'm cold. It's cold. I stopped at this picnic bench. Um, sort of seems like there's no more birds. Like, there's no more birds, this way. I probably have to go out, like, that way. By, like, the river, the main river where the river comes in. I literally can't show you because they flew, like, into the sun. I just saw, I heard birds, like, chirping almost. Like, a, like, I don't know. <laughs> I can't imitate it, but it was two bald eagles, and I saw them up close. <laughs> I hear them a little. The eagles, the eagles. He's so close to me. We're at, um, oh my god, it's, it's cold. And one's sitting in cars behind me. And I'm looking at the girls. And then I came home and, I don't know, decided that it would be fun to do a time lapse of me not only breaking up the weed and putting it in my bong but also smoking it so here is me smoking <laughs> a whole bowl in fast speed yeah just got back home well got back home just smoked an entire bowl so that I could film it in a time lapse. <laughs> I don't <coughs> normally smoke a whole bowl at once, but it looked cool in the time lapse, and now I'm stoned. My phone is running out of storage, but I just did some like little chores I needed to do. Got the bag of cat litter out of the car, and also the snacks that I forgot in there. And then I cleaned the cat litter, swept the bathroom, Closed all the blinds and curtains out. 
in the house. And now I'm back here. And I think I'm going to... I'm going to do a lot of things. I have to look up that duck. I have to look up that duck. Also want to sew, obviously. Because that's all I want to do lately is sew. So confirmed, this is the duck that I saw. This website is literally the Cornell Lab or whatever. Which is what this book is based on. But he wasn't in my book, so I couldn't know that. I know they can't fit every single bird into the book, but... Anyway, that's, that's him. And then, that's the girl. I couldn't see, like, the this. She's so beautiful. Look at her babies! Oh my god, so freaking cute. It's called the Common Merganser. Merganser? I'm gonna say Merganser. But yeah, that's how he how that's how he looked. Look at that smile. I feel like this is what it must feel like to be a Pokemon hunter. Like I don't own the birds. I don't keep them in little balls and have them fight each other. But I feel like as I see new birds, I'm like collecting all the birds. I like, gotta catch them all. <laughs> sewing the spiral on the snail. So I finished doing the spiral of the snail last night and it's super adorable. I did it like that. This was gonna be the back, you know, I was just gonna like bop, put them together, Put some stuffing in between and sew them together. But because they're two separate pieces, I feel like I'd have to attach the shell first. So I don't know, I'm thinking this is just like a experiment prototype for like what I want to do to like sell like my art. I love these snails and I want to make more snails. This was my first attempt. So what I ended up doing was putting it against a piece of felt and then cutting that out as the back. And this is actually for the second one that I make with the pink background. This one is the original one. After cutting it out, I sewed it all together using the whip stitch, which takes a really long time, but I love the effect it gives. Look how cute. The shell got a little wobbly at the back, just because like I know I cut the fabric out not perfectly. So I can improve on that. Um, I think it just looks so cute stuffed, but I'm going to try the second one a little bit simpler. I'm not going to stuff it, and I'm just going to use a regular running stitch, I think, as the, the outline stitch. Anyway, that is it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me on this little self-care day, weekend kind of thing. Feel free to subscribe, like the video, comment, whatever you want to do. And I will see you in my next one. Peace.